Tom. You're on the Tom Likert Show. Hello. Hi there, Tom. Sam, how are you? Yeah, I'm great. How are you, Tom? I'm doing great. What can I do for you? Yeah, listen, Tom, this is just a quick call, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the great work that you do. Uh, I mean, honestly, I, I was telling one of your uh, other colleagues, like, uh, Tom Likers is one of those guys that comes once in a lifetime. You know, you always... A woman, and you know what we men need to hear, especially you know in this day and age, where a lot of men have been emasculated, they've become very effeminate. And to be honest with you, today's society, men are are pretty much henpecks, simps, and manginas. So thank you so much, Tom, for the great, wonderful work that you do. And please do know that you are admired, not just in the U.S. but around the whole world as well. Sad that means a lot. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Tom, and if you just take me an old school style, that would be great, yeah? All right, here you go, Sam. Grand spanking new edition of WAP, Wide Open Phones on the Tom Likas Show continues at 901-3000. Tom, Brian in Bakersfield, California. You're on the Tom Likas Show, Brian. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm doing okay, Brian. What can I do for you? Oh, I was just uh, listening to you talking about place to eat and stuff, and I uh, happened to go uh, to Napomo on Monday at a steakhouse called uh, Jocko's. Jocko's, yeah, Jocko's is a legendary place in Napomo. Yeah. It's excellent, man. That's the first time I went. I, I didn't have reservations, and it took me, uh, I had to wait two hours, but, oh, man, it, I, I, literally it was the, probably the best steak I ever had. Um, i got to tell you, I, I really like Napomo's. Uh, there are no pretenses at Napomo's. And you remember when you come in, you walk through a long hallway, and it, it, perpendicular to the hallway is a bar. That's the first thing you see. Right. And then all of the, all the tables are off to the left and right. That's, that's how it's set up. And uh, everything from the flatware that looks like they bought it at Woolworths 30 years ago. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But the but the but bottom line is that's a great steak in there, and that's a great bar, and it's a legendary joint. Uh, it's called yeah. Jocko's in Napomo, California, and that is it's north of Santa Maria, right off the 101. Uh, there's literally you get off the exit of Napomo, and it's one block over. That's it. Napomo's yeah. not a very big place. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, yeah, I was just I was amazed, man. It's really really good food, and the place is always packed, man. It's open seven days a week. I'm glad you mentioned it because I happen to be up uh, not far from Santa Maria, and uh, I, I think that's something I'm going to do this weekend is head out to Jocko's. Yeah, make you make your reservation unless you just want to hang at the bar for two hours because uh, it's yeah. definitely packed. Although I don't mind hanging at that bar. That's a cool old bar. Fantastic. Yeah, it is. I love it. Looks, I mean, it's, the it's, place it's, looks dumpy on the outside, but don't let that deter you. That you'd oh, be yeah, using a legendary story. joint. It's like been there since, uh, I think, 1880 something, you know, burned down a couple times and everything, but it, the same families owned it, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a neat, neat joint. Well, that. I'm glad you reminded me about that, Brian, because I, I hadn't thought about Jocko's in a while. I've been there many times. Last time I yeah. went, I went with my brother, as a matter of fact. Uh, we were heading up to Monterey, and we stopped in, just got off the 101, and just stopped in for a steak, and it was fantastic. Well, the Spencer cut is the big, big cut. That's what I had, and man, it was, it was awesome. Yeah. Well, that Spencer cut is like the best cut of steak there is. Uh, that's yeah. like the fat, the fat. For people who wonder what a Spencer cut is, that's the fat cap of a of the sirloin, uh, meaning uh -huh. it's the juiciest, tenderest, deliciousest, yeah. uh, just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was the best steak I ever had. You know, I'm 53 years old, and it's the best steak I ever had. No doubt about it. By the way, have you ever been to my place in Bakersfield, the Petroleum uh, Petroleum Lounge, I believe it's called? You know, yeah, uh, you know, I, I haven't. I, I hang out at the, the VIP Lounge, which is like a block away, and uh, you know, I've heard about it, and I want to go in. Actually, I talked to one of the waitresses there, and she says like the breakfasts are only four dollars. And, uh, yeah, it's, you know, every day. Uh, but I haven't actually been there, no. But I know yeah, the, the, the Petroleum have. Lounge uh, is a, uh, a bar and restaurant. And in the parking lot, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's, I, I don't think, I think that place was named because of it. There is one operating oil derrick right in the uh -huh. parking lot. 
Yeah, I drive by it all the time. It's there, and uh, uh, yeah, it's at the top, the top floor, uh, one of the tallest buildings here in Bakersfield. I remember well. Yeah. Uh, Brian, yeah, great. Gonna, I'm so glad you called in. Yeah, hey, man, thanks. I love your show. I listen to it. I should be a P1, you know, but I'm. I, everything I do turns to shit, so I'm kind of afraid to join because I don't want anything bad to happen, you know? Oh, my. <laughs> uh, okay. yeah, yeah. Things will get better soon, Brian, and when it does, you just go to premiumtom.com. Yeah, I you know. It's, I'm working on it. Hey, yeah, take me out to uh, Bakersfield police style. It's saying it's Fullerton police. Oh, all right. There you go. You just fuck with me. All right. Oh, 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 Tom, we are jamming with calls here. If you want to get in, uh, as I said, I'll keep doing WAP until you stop calling. So put me to the test here at 901-3866. Paul in Sydney. You're on the Tom Likas Show, Paul. How's it going? So how you going? I'm doing great. What can I do for you? Oh, so, um, I was wondering if um, you were going to do, for this past halfway through the year, like a state of the new normal show, so we all know what's going on and have to step our game up if we have to. Yes, uh, that's going to be coming uh, sometime after, after Labor Day, which would be the first weekend in September. Uh, we're going to do a state of the new normal because we're going to be going through last quarter, uh, beginning October 1st. And that's when we have our run to the finish line, hoping to get that one dollar in profit. So uh, we will give you a full accounting of what's going on and how far off we are, and some things you guys can do to help. But uh, as I tell the audience all the time, it's never too late or never too early to subscribe, never too early to uh, uh, attend our events like our Dodger game at Dodger Stadium coming up in a couple of weeks. At the uh, uh, we have a, a private suite, and more than half those seats are sold. Uh, once we sell that out, that'll be uh, some nice revenue for the new normal. And, um, uh, you know, we'll give everybody uh, the lay of the land. I will tell you this, on uh, Amazon, everyone's done a good job in the first half. We are on target for over a million dollars in Amazon sales this year. Wow. Which will be a new record for us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I hope no one's put off by that other caller about your um, your basic interface to the Premium Tom website, because as far as I'm concerned, it's nice and simple. You just see the file and you play it. It's easy. Right. It really is not complicated, and some people are always looking to give an excuse why they don't support us, <laughs> and in that case, that was his excuse. Uh, but on top of that, you know, it, it, we want it to be better, and uh, beginning uh, by the end of the summer, uh, PremiumTom.com will look completely different. I've already uh, seen, uh, maybe I should give everybody a little snatch, um, and maybe a, a, like a little screenshot of what we're working a on. A snatch? A snatch. A little snatch. <laughs> well, as far, as, far as, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, uh, um, advertising has been a, a, a rip-roaring success. I probably shouldn't say that because you get more advertisers, but... It's been it's been fantastic. So it's a complete no brainer for me to roll it on another another block with Gary. Oh, excellent, excellent. And we have some new advertisers coming, uh, which have come in through uh, our uh, sales marketing team at Compass Media Marketing. So um, you know, from that standpoint, revenue is definitely up. Things are looking up. Advertisers are getting results. Uh, we're about to have a return appearance uh, from uh, Pro Flowers, so clearly our first promotion with them went well, and they're coming back. So, uh, uh, you know, again, it's a, it's a brick-by-brick thing we're building here. And uh, right now, it, it, it looks better. Uh, we're going to have, uh, it's going to be neck and neck to see if we can break even this year. And uh, I, I want to see us do that. Well, I hope it's not the same nail biter we had at the end of last year. That was, God, that was, that was tense stuff, that was... Now, believe me, I was that close to, to giving it up, uh, but we were not nearly as close as we should be this year. Again, if the studio burns down or the phone system uh, 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 flames up and burns down the building, uh, it might push us back a little bit, but we'll push back the timetable. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that won't happen. Okay, well, um, best, best of luck to all. I've been missing a few weeks. I was distracted by the, uh, by the World Soccer Ball competition that uh, America doesn't care about, but uh, it's right. always now, so. <laughs> yeah.
Yes. We're all relieved. <laughs> uh, hey, Paul, thank uh, you so much. Uh, yeah, thanks for the call. And uh, appreciate all the support, as always. No, I don't think he's gone. There he goes. Paul from Sydney. All right, wow, wide open phones on the Tom Likas show. And uh, we started an hour late today. Well, we didn't start an hour late, but the uh, WAP started an hour late because we had a phone problem. And so now I'm trying to make it up to you by taking as many calls as I can, and I'm going to go until you stop calling. Whenever the calls stop, that's when the show will end. So uh, if you've got something to say, step up to the microphone and say it here. Call this number, 901-3000-TOM is the number. 901-3000-TOM. You can call me right now at 901 901- 3,000-866. So, how do you like our little internet project now? 901-3000-TOM. This is the Tom Likas Show. From the New Normal Newsroom, it's time once again for Likas 101 News for guys of Gary Zeno. I'm not Willie Nelson. We are brought to you in part by Beer Magazine. Go to blowmeoptom.com. Click on the Beer Magazine banner. Get your Likas discount to a year's subscription number one selling magazine on newsstands devoted to beers. Beer magazine. This time it's Utah man charged with having sex with his neighbor's dog. The family aimed a camera on the dog's run after its gate was left open last year. The footage showed that uh, this gentleman got it on with the dog. Right. Well, the dog had, the dog had been acting suspicious. It's sure. Weird. Yes. Happy with the situation, so we put up those little cameras. You find out a lot of things. Poor dog's just out there on his run, looking for a little exercise. Maybe take a dump. And a piss. And a piss. Instead, he was getting raped. Okay. Melvin Parley Pace is his name. 65 years old. Not the first time he's been caught banging dogs. So. Um, you know, I'll tell you what. If you take a look at, let's say, somebody. If they've been busted before. Chances are, if you're busted once for this, this is like uh, child uh, molest, uh, molesters. Uh, dog uh, fuckers are just the same. Yeah, you don't think that they're just gonna like turn on a dime <laughs> yeah, and stop no, stop no. making dogs? You, 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 when you get caught the first time, you say that's it. But in reality, it's not. A, they, never, they rarely tap out. Right. They like to keep on going. Right. Michigan prosecutors are fighting the release of a 50-year-old woman, 58-year-old woman, I should say who admitted she shot her lover over his performance in bed. Oh, man. <laughs> shot him in the stomach. Yeah. And then she, wants, she wants to get out. <laughs> she apparently is out uh, on appeal, but she admitted doing it. Do you realize if you reverse this and you allow guys to do this, oh, watch out. No shit. She also accused him of cheating on her, by the way. Huh? Another reason why she was pissed. Yeah. Apparently he was getting it up for uh, the other broad, not her. Because <laughs> she let him down in the beginning. I'm going to guess. <laughs> I'm just guessing. <laughs> yeah. Mel admitted uh, to having uh, sex with the guy at her apartment then shot him over his poor performance. <laughs> she was very upset with him. I shot my husband with a plurvigate. After a sexual act, she felt that he wasn't performing adequately. <laughs> Took out the gun and shot him in the stomach. Uh, does she look like an yeah. older version of Angela Bassett? I think uh, that's the kind of thing I'm getting. A little from. bit like that. Yeah. yeah. You, she, look, she looks like she doesn't care. I'll yes. say that. UConn apparently to pay $1.3 million in uh, sex assault uh, handling uh, lawsuit so that uh, Glorious Allred is behind. She had a press conference today. Always good to see the pants yes. out there and girl is good. doing her thing. And we, uh, UConn is yeah. the uh, home of the great uh, Derek Bonham. This is going to start happening everywhere now, right? Because you have to the report these crimes. Sweep these things under. And the reason why they do, it's yeah. a very simple. Do the math. Uh, you know, if you read the crime statistics, you don't want to go to places uh, exactly. that are violent. Right. Not a lot of violence at ASU. We um, thought Casey Kasem's body was accounted for and actually frozen. Turns out, no, we don't know where it is at all, and people are accusing uh, that Gene Kasem, though, his widow, of uh, taking the body from the funeral home <laughs> and uh, apparently uh, hiding it from uh, 
Let me tell you how crazy. From, about this. being uh, from an autopsy being performed on it, so she tried to hide something. What's going on, dude? This is yeah. this is unbelievable. The, yeah, yeah. the autopsy is critical because what's happening is uh, there is uh, there are some allegations that uh, need to be put in front of a judge yeah. uh, about maybe the, his his condition and stuff at the end of his life. So uh, if the body's missing. Uh, that's really suspicious, and I'm very glad that. Uh, his body is missing because that makes her look guilty. I mean, no she's, shit. she's, she's, unless she's having a weekend at Bernie's type time and she's just taking case.